this is a new YouTube video on my YouTube channel. Yes. And I am very excited to show you guys my Rainbow Loom collection. Yay. This can be used, um, the reason why I thought about it, I was thinking, yeah, it's probably not going to be much of an entertainment, just watching things that I've made. But I realized it could be inspiration for those people who need something to do in coronavirus, which loom bands aren't very accessible, accessible these days because they, you know, they were a, a long time ago, was a trend a while ago, people don't sell it anywhere. I usually get my loom bands off eBay, which I recently ordered heaps of them. So be ready for another collection, like end of year collection. Um, and I've definitely made a lot of them throughout coronavirus. And I, um, yeah, so this can give you a couple ideas on what you want to make for loom bands. And if you don't have any idea what you want to make and you want to know what they look like, then I guess here you go. I've made a lot of creations. So yeah, without, with that being said, let's get straight on with the video. Okay. So the first one that I've ever made was definitely this bunny. And as you can tell, I was very lacking in experience. I did this for a couple, I get it was two years ago for Easter. Because I saw it and I went, that's adorable. But mine came out really creepy. <laughs> I mean, I did it all correct. Actually, no, I didn't. That, that's why. But as you can tell, the bottom is like completely messed up. And I rushed it. There was a lot of stitches that I was out of place on. I've tried stitching it up here. The tail is completely off. Ears are just, no, no, please, no. <laughs> There's loops everywhere. And yeah, so... Super creepy, used up legit probably two packs of white bands, but that was definitely my first Lumi Creamy. So you always get better, you just gotta keep trying, keep persisting, and you'll hopefully get to where I am today. So yeah, let's go on to number two. Okay, so number two would definitely be this BB-8, and he took me probably, I think, two days, but that's from lack of experience. Um, if, you're, if you're a beginner, you definitely want to go for the more easier things, more smaller, I'd suggest, because otherwise you just kind of... You don't feel as proud as yourself because you haven't got the experience to make something as big. Which I wasn't very proud of this one because it came very out very disorientated. It's strange. <laughs> um, and it looked nothing like the person's in the video. And the eyes, one of the eyes came off. So usually there is two for BB-8. But yeah, so that's two. Definitely a tip for when doing Lunigumi, I'd go for the beginner stuff first. So yeah, let's go to number three. So for the next few clips, I have my next Lunigumi design that I've made. Um, but just to notify, I this is now a year later, and I hadn't done any Lumigumi from then on, but I started with COVID-19 and stuff, and the coronavirus that's going around, and I'm not able to go out. So I decided, because I have heaps and heaps of Lumibands stored, I decided that I'd, why not do Lumigumi again? So I continued on, and this was now the next Easter, Easter, and I decided to make heaps of projects and this is where this has taken me probably a couple months to complete all of these projects so there is a a lot definitely a lot but yeah so <laughs> let's get started and this was the first present that I made for someone for Easter so number three would be this chicken that I made well chick not really a chicken um but it's cracking out of an egg which I designed the egg myself and then I um kind of created the chicken by myself, or chick, whatever you'd like to call it, um, and I kind of designed it because the person who I based off this, which was on YouTube, she was a different language, so it was really hard to kind of, I just had to make do with what the video gave me, so it turned out different, but it was very cute in the end, so yeah, that was for my little sister, and let's get on to the next present that I made for Easter, which is Rank Dead number four. Right, the next one was this cat from... I forgot the YouTuber. Looming with Cheryl, I'm pretty sure. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But <laughs> this here is where I said about the eyes. They popped out a lot and they kind of sucked. I hated it. The kind of cat overall came out kind of ugly, but it was neat stitches. Um, this is from where I started getting better um, and I started, you know, basing it on smaller projects. But from these ones, I had experience from the actual stitches, so I knew what I was doing. So that's where the next one comes in and why it looked neat. But here is the cat. It definitely came out neater than I thought it was going to come out. D super duper cute. Love him or her. <laughs> and I put the little bell. Yeah. This was for my older sister. She absolutely loved it. And yeah, let's get on to number five. So this one is Baymax from the movie Baymax. Um, 
and yes, there is something missing from it. Yes, <laughs> the mouth, it fell off. I've had to glue it and stuff, um, and the mouth just never worked out for me. And uh, yeah, because the face didn't have enough stitches and yada yada yada. But just imagine it had a white, not a white line, a black line from there to there. Yes, this one I was very proud of because it was one of the first big ones that actually succeeded and I had the right stitches and everything. So, and it was actually like a me medium sized project. Um, and yeah, so he came out super cute if he had a mouth. <laughs> but the arms I redid a couple times, they were really annoying to redo. Um, and then I also did this. I found that the body came out really neat on this one, which I was very proud of. And he had a little bit of a belly, which was adorable. Um, but the head, I am not very proud of because the stitches in her video, which is, this is by Islicious Designs, has a hair on it. Um, but yeah, in the video, she didn't classify, she didn't do heaps of the band counts or the round counts. So I didn't know how many I was meant to have or if I had messed up, which I redid the head a couple times, but it still came out strange let's just say that <laughs> but as you can see i did used to have these eyes on this one so the pop out eyes but i changed them after i had recently gotten the safety eyes which they're basically half of a bead with a pushback in the backing you can type up a picture on google i'm sure they'll come up somewhere um but yeah so that's baymax super cute let's get on to the next one the next one is definitely dodgy this, <laughs> you're probably wondering, why has it only got one eye? Yes, well, this was my dad's present. Um, oh, and if I didn't realize, if I didn't, I don't think I classified that this was for my mum. But yeah, anyways, so this is for, this was for my dad, and it still is, obviously. But the filling is popping out everywhere. The bands weren't very good, and these were bands that I bought online. They weren't from Rainbow Loom, so they were off-brand. And I just kept breaking, and all the parts have fallen off, um... And the mouth is about to fall off, as you can see. Well, nose and mouth. And one of the eyes have already fallen off, which this one is very near to falling off. So, the reason this is now, like, broken and dead. <laughs> so, what I did for him was I created him another one. Um, this one's been down the side of the couch for a while. I'm sorry if it's misshaped. But... He turned out way cuter. And I absolutely am in love with him. And I used the safety eyes for this one, which I definitely liked a lot better than the beads. Um, and the flippers came out super cute. I did the multicolor. He's basically like meant to be like a camo. This one also kind of broke. I don't know what's up with that, but he's super cute. I definitely like the look of him better. So this was my dad pres dad's present for Easter. And that sums up all the presents for Easter. And now we can just get on to Lumi Groomy designs that I had made for overall just for fun. <laughs> so yeah. Let's get on to that. I don't know what ranking number this was. Oh, legit, I'll put it up there. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get on to the next one. Okay, so I'll leave the rank up number, number, whatever number this is, um, I'll leave it up there. Um, but yeah, so this is the monkey. I made this for my mum. Well, I didn't make it initially for my mum, but she ended up keeping it, so. But yeah, this is part of my kind of collection. The other ones that I showed you, I don't own, which I just made them, so. I decided to show them because there was a lot that I've made for people. There's also other ones. I also made another monkey, but it was a white and pink one, which I gave to my gran for Mother's Day. Uh, she really loved it. So it came out the exact same design. But So basically, I've made two monkeys. So that's a monkey. Super cute. Came out really cute. Um, and I'm super proud of him. So let's go on to the next one. The next ones are definitely strange. I'm putting these two together because it was kind of a mismatch of my own design. I wanted to make a puffer fish, like a multicolored puffer fish. So I started off with this and my dad really wanted a puffer fish so because he found that this was really squishy. So he wanted to make one, wanted me to make something that was round and puffy. So I came up with a puffer fish. So I made this puffer fish. I made the little baby one. Um, it was just kind of like a rough plan out idea and it came out super cute, nice and squishy like he wanted. Um, and I used the, eight millimeter size eyes for this one and if you guys want the design for this one I can totally put up a YouTube video on it if you guys like um there's two different sizes so I can do both if you'd like so I have this one um and this is a puffer fish this one came out really cute he liked this one better because it's way bigger um and this was rough very rough so I can definitely make a, a new design on it if you guys like if you would like me to make a design on this sure just comment it um, but yeah, so that's a puffer fish. Super cute. And let's get into the next one. Next couple of clips is going to be of smallest to biggest. Just because I want the biggest ones to be at the end to make a 
good finale, I guess. So I'll leave the rank number up there because I've completely lost track of that. <laughs> um, but this is my next creation that I made, which this is my own design, and this is not on YouTube anywhere. Um, but if you would like me to put a YouTube video up on it, I definitely can. But a warning is that it was really hard to make. I made a lot of adjustments, and the head was definitely incredibly hard to make. But if you guys would really like a YouTube video on this one, I can. I was planning on doing one, but then I realized it didn't come out very well, and it's kind of tiny. But... Definitely good for a band count if you don't have much green. Um, but yeah, so if you guys would like a video on that, I'm glad to do that for you. Just leave it down in the comments down below. And yeah, so that is number <laughs> for you guys. So that's it. Let's go on next. I'll leave that again. I'll leave the right number up there. Um, but these were for my YouTube video. If you haven't seen that already, please check it out. Make it it's super cute. Um, this is a novel that I created this design, but this one was created by a different YouTuber. Um, so they have a significant difference in sizes for each size. Um, but yeah, so if you guys would like to learn how to make this, I already have this up on my YouTube channel. And yeah, that's them, super cute. Let's go on to the next one. Next I'm going to show you my Zoom Zoom collection. So from smallest to biggest, of course. <laughs> so I've made this Dumbo. This was by Craft Muse. Um, she's definitely my favorite YouTuber for Lumigrumi designs. I I am sorry about my voice. I have I've had to re-record so many clips because of my voice cracking or going out of place. <laughs> so I apologize for that. Um, I'm losing my voice for some odd reason. But that is Dumbo. Super duper cute. <clears throat> Let's go to the next one. Zoom Zoom was this Winnie the Pooh in a bee costume. Um, and super duper cute. This one's also by Craft Muse. All the Zoom Zooms that I've made are by Craft Muse. Um, and she's very, very talented. I absolutely love this. You can also make the original Penny Winnie the Pooh in this format. You just have to make the red backing, which I probably am going to do because it's adorable. Um, but yeah, so I also use safety guys for this. She used beads, but it still can, it came out pretty cute. And yeah, that's Winnie the Pooh. Let's go on to the next one. So my last Zoom Zoom that I've made is this Eeyore, which I made this one today. About like 12, however long this video has been going is when I made this. I very, very recently just made this today. Um, and... I don't like how the mouth came out, but I can get over it. I can get over it, yes. <laughs> um, but he came out super cute. She used light blue, but I had no light blue. This is the only blue that I had that was matte, which I decided it would do. And it's still really cute, I guess. Um, he came out super cute. I love him. I like how the eyes turned out. The eyebrows are adorable. I definitely love the ears. Um, and the tail. Adorable. Love it. <laughs> this is definitely my favorite Zoom Zoom that I've ever made. That's for sure. So yeah, let's go on to the All next right. one. The next thing that I've made is this rainbow by... It's, this is not by Lou Magrimi, but I decided to put it in anyway. So this is the only thing that I've actually made on my loom in this whole collection. But this is by the... Um, I don't know the name of the YouTube channel, but she makes the smiley foods and stuff. Um, and she's very, very talented and she's good on the loom. Um, but I'm not really much of a loom fan anymore. I decided to do all the hook-based ones. Um, but yeah, so this is the rainbow. I designed the clouds um, because I only designed the clouds because of the back, as you can see. I must have missed a level or one of the rounds that I had to do. And it completely mucked it up, which is really sad. And I'm sad, but that's where the clouds come in. <laughs> it hides that. And I really love it with the clouds, so yeah. This is completely made in the loom, and I totally recommend making it. It's definitely worth it. So next is this um, seahorse, which is also by Craft Muse. Um, super cute. Love this one. Uh, it came out really, really adorable. I also made... I've made two seahorses, but I've given one of them away. Um, I made one that was... I'm pretty sure it was pink and yellow. So I made the matte, ye matte yellow, yes, and then the pink was jelly. Um, and I gave that one to my best friend, uh, for her birthday. And then I also made a dolphin, which is also very, very adorable. Came out a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, but that was also given to my best friend. So, yeah. Let's get on to the next one. So next, I made this Dory, which I had made her really well, and I'm very proud of her. But she definitely came out really creepy. She kind of reminds me of Momo. Yeah, definitely reminds me of that really creepy lady with the big eyes. Um, but <laughs> other than that, she turned out really cute. Um, she definitely looks like Dory, that is for sure. Um, 
I love how the pattern is and it looks exactly like Dory's pattern and she looks really cute and I really love her and she took me I'd say about three or so hours something like that but this one took about half a day to make basically kind of yeah that's Dory and then to go with Dory I made this Nemo which I think came out a lot cuter Again, my voice is losing. I don't know why. My voice is just annoying today. Um, so this is Nemo. And I love the cute little difference in fins. Um, and he came out really neat. And I'm proud of him. Um, and the tail came out cute. The back fin. And the fins at the bottom. Super duper cute. This I made these both in the same day. So they were easy to make. Well, they're not easy. Let's say that. They are not easy to make. They're definitely not a beginner thing to make. Um, but with experience, you can definitely make it. So, yeah, that's them. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. The next ones are definitely my favorite, and oh my god, my voice is absolutely gone at this point, which I am sorry. Um, but let's get on to the next duo. So there's a duo next, and then there's just the finale, which I am definitely in love with. But yeah, let's get on with it. Okay, so the duo is Agnes with her fluffy unicorn. Um, they came out adorable. Her hair really gets on my nerves because it never stays down. But she, other than that, she is so, so cute. I absolutely love how Agnes came out. The only thing that really annoys me is the fact that the two different yellows that I used, I didn't have enough of the plain yellow to just use that. So I basically made her like a honeybee kind of looking thing for a shirt, but it came out cute still, which she is super cute and... I love her. <laughs> her hair came out super cute as well. She's just overall really, really cute. And that's how Agnes should be. Um, so yeah, this was by Luminga Cheryl, if that is correct. I am pretty sure that's her YouTube channel. Um, I'll correct it up here if I didn't get it right, but I'm pretty sure I did. And then I made her fluffy unicorn and she, they go well, go together very, very well. I cannot speak English today. Um, but that's the unicorn and this is Agnes. She used 10 millimeter sized eyes, which uh, you have to definitely search on eBay for, but I I got the sizes that I needed and it worked out in the end. So, super cute, love her. And let's move on to the finale so one. This one took me, I would say two days to create. Not quite two days to create, but it took me, okay. So the amount of time that I took to actually create this was definitely two days, but the intervals of the fact that I needed the bigger eyes for it, I had to wait for the shipping to come on eBay. So that took me, that took about two weeks to come. So I had to wait two weeks to finish it, which I had started off with the body and legs. All I had to do was the head and the other stuff on the head. Um, but this one is by Leaving with Cheryl. And I realized now the stuffing is coming out everywhere. I don't know if you can see that, but that's okay. I had to stuff it a lot because otherwise it wouldn't be able to keep the head up because the head's really heavy for some reason. But I absolutely love how this one came out. It's one of the neatest big projects that I've ever made. Um, and it's super adorable. And it came out super colourful and I love it. <laughs> I used a mix of matte bands and jelly bands because I didn't have enough of the opaque purple to make the nose. And it took up a lot of purple. Um, and then I didn't have enough of the opaque opaque yellow to make the giraffe. So yes, this is a Lumigo Cheryl giraffe that I definitely recommend making if you're an experienced Lumigroomy. Lumigroomia, if that's a word. <laughs> but yeah, it sits down and it's absolutely adorable. So I definitely recommend making this one. But yes, this sums up the YouTube video and I absolutely in love with all of my creations that I've made so far and I decided to make this because I felt like making a YouTube video and YouTube videos are fun to create and edit so I hope to have future videos in the next couple of months I guess for my own designs if you guys want me to make the puffer fish and um, the alligator or crocodile so if you want me to make this or if you want me to make the puffer fish so that puffer fish can't find the other one. There it is. Um, so if you guys want me to make the puffer fish or the alligator, please comment down below. I would love to. Um, but I just want to know if you guys actually want to know how to make it. So, yeah. 
that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have made it to the end, please, if you would like to, subscribe and click the notification bell for new updates on my YouTube channel. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.